Hello students, now it's me, Bino Shrestha, and you are watching the Excellent Education channel. In this channel, you'll be getting a lot of lectures related to the mathematics. And in today's lectures, I'll teach you the theorem number three of grade 10. Okay, students, now let's get started. This is theorem number three. Prove that the area of parallelograms standing on the same base and between the same parallel lines are equal okay now here is a line ab which is a base here ab is a base de is another line such that this ab is parallel to d okay students you are seeing a red parallelogram it's standing on the base AB and between the same parallel lines AB parallel D. You see the another parallelogram which is in green color is also standing on the base AB and between the same parallel line AB parallel D. Likewise, here is a brown parallelogram, blue parallelogram, purple parallelogram, and yellow parallelogram these all are standing on the same base a b and between the same parallel line a b parallel d okay, students you are seeing the six different parallelograms having different shape and size which are these parallelograms are standing on the same base AB and between the same parallel lines AB parallel D. Okay, students. Now let us take the two parallelograms a red parallelogram and a blue parallelogram. Parallelogram which is standing on the base AB and between the same parallel line AB parallel. D, which is named A, B, C, D. Okay, students. The another blue parallelograms A, B, E, F, which is also standing on the same base A, B, and between the same parallel lines A, B, parallel D. So given, the given is parallelograms A, B, C, D, and a b e f are standing on the same base a b this is a b and between the same parallel lines a b parallel d here yes, students you are seeing two parallelograms a blue parallelograms and a red parallelogram these both parallelogram are standing on the same base a b and between the same parallel line a b parallel d You, you are seeing here a red parallelogram A, B, C, D and a blue parallelogram A, B, E, F. Okay, students, here a blue parallelogram A, B, E, F. These both are standing on the same base A, B and between the same parallel lines A, B, parallel D. So, we need to prove is this red parallelogram A, B, C, D equals to this blue parallelogram a b e f okay students now let's prove now in proof you have always the statement and reasons reasons in statement number one in triangle a d f and triangle b c e dear students First, let's try to show these two triangles, a red triangle and a blue triangle as congruent. Okay, now in first, you see here this AD and BC. Okay, this AD is equal to BC. Okay, students, so in one number, you can write AD equals to BC. So what is the reason? You know, students, this A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. 
So in parallelogram, these two sides are the opposite sides of parallelogram. So they are always equal. So of course, our reason is being opposite sides of parallelogram. Okay. Now next, look at the picture in, foot, in this picture. Now you see here angle ADF. This is equals to angle BCE. You see here, students, in this picture, this is ADF. This angle is equals to the angle BCE. Okay, students. So in two number, you can write angle ADF equals to angle BCE. Now, what is the reason, students? The reason is, of course, these two angles are the corresponding angles. Okay, students. So the reason is being corresponding angles. Okay, students. Now, in three number, you see in the pictures, students, this angle AFD. This AFD is equals to angle BEC. Okay, students. So, in three number, we can write these two angles are equal. Angle AFD. AFD equals to angle BEC. BEC. So, how these two angles are equal? Of course, these two angles are again the corresponding angles. Okay, students. So, of course, our reason is being corresponding angles. Okay. Now, you see here in two number, we can write these two triangles, this red triangle AFD and this blue triangle BEC. These two triangles, these two triangles are congruent. And what is the reason, students? The reason is side angle angle axiom. Okay, students, so in two number regions, we can write side angle angle axiom. Or instead of the side angle angle, you can also write angle angle side. But remember, when you are going to write angle angle side, you first write here, the first statement should be angle, second statement should be angle, and the third statement should be side. So that you can write angle angle side. Okay, students, now I have already told you in my previous lecture, when the two triangles are congruent, then their area are always equal. So from two number, these two triangles are congruent. So we can write the area of this triangle ADF and the area of this triangle BCE are equal. So in three number, triangle ADF equals to triangle BCE. And what is the reason, students? The reason is being congruent triangles. If the triangles are congruent, their area are always equal. Okay. Now, here you are seeing in this figure, students, you just look at the figure here. In the figure, you are seeing ABCF. This ABCF is a trapezium. Yes, yeah, students, why it is trapezium? Because the base AB and this arm FC, they are parallel. In quadrilateral, if the two sides are parallel, then it is called a trapezium. So here ABCF is a trapezium. Now I'm going to add the area of this trapezium to both this red triangle and this blue triangle. Okay, students, as I've already shown the red triangle ADF is equals to the blue triangle BEC. Now I'm going to add the common, this is a common trapezium ABCF to the both triangles. Now you see here, this yellow color you are seeing here, this is a trapezium. Now let's add this trapezium to both the triangles. You see here in phone number, what I have written here is triangle ADF. Now you see here triangle ADF plus trapezium ABCF. Now see here triangle ADF, your red triangle is ADF. And the yellow trapezium is ABCF. 
equals to and there is blue triangle B C E this is B C E plus trapezium A B C F you see here this B C plus trapezium A B C F in mathematical rule if the two parts are equal then we can always add the equal parts on both sides here from three number you see here the red triangle equals to this blue triangle and I'm adding this common trapezium on both sides see on both sides I'm adding this common trapezium so the reason is what adding common trapezium a b c f on both sides of statement 3 okay students now let's see here if you add this triangle ADF plus trapezium ABC, what would it become? Now say it become. Now see you look at here in the figure. If you add this red and this is yellow, these two figures when you add, it gives you what? A parallelogram ABCD. Isn't it? Now see look at here. This red parallel, sorry, red triangle plus this yellow trapezium when you add them it gives you a full figure a b c d so in five number you see on the left hand side what i have written here this this triangle plus this trapezium gives you the parallelogram a b c d similarly you see on the left this is right hand side in right side right hand side this is a triangle this is blue triangle and plus trapezium this yellow trapezium you look at these pictures students now what it becomes when you add this yellow trapezium and a blue triangle of course it gives you a full parallelogram a b e f okay students so you look at here this triangle plus trapezium equals to parallelogram a b e f okay students now what is the reason reason is what this is whole part axiom because what is whole part axiom whole part axiom means if you add the small parts and gives rise to a big part then it is called whole part axiom okay students this proves this theorem hope you have understood this lecture now thank you for watching see you in the next video till then have a good time Bye-bye.